Today, we're decluttering the garage once and for all. It's not the last episode of the series by any means, but it is the last time that you're going to see the garage because we're giving ourselves one day to get all of this done. And then we were saying goodbye to this garage, hopefully for a long time. And the sponsor of today's Extreme Declutter couldn't be more perfect. Today's video is sponsored by Poshmark. If you're new to the channel, I'm April. I'm a suitcase designer and this is a realistic makeover channel, but like actually realistic. I don't know if you're like me, but when I'm watching home makeover shows at the final room reveal, I usually just yell at the TV, where did you put all of their real stuff? Like, come on, you have to be hiding it. That's why on the suitcase designer, we focus on designing spaces with real people in mind and real people who have real stuff. This extreme declutter is a continuation of our making over a hundred year old home for my in-law series, where we've been going space by space through their hundred year old home here in the Pacific Northwest. And if you like antiques or the cottage style or really anything that you see in the garage today, you might like watching more of the episodes from the makeovers. The last you saw of the garage, it looked like this. As we've been making over the rooms in the house, things have gotten a little bit messy, not to mention, we moved all of those art supplies from the living room into the garage, which is really added to the accumulation of stuff in here. It's important that we do the garage today because until the art studio is set up in here, it will continue to pile up in the dining room on the kitchen table. And before we move on to other makeovers in the space, we need to fully solve this problem first. And now almost six months later from our original declutter of this space, she's finally ready to let more items go to new families so that we can make room for her big art studio. We have decided that we're only cleaning out the garage for one day. So our goal by the end of the day is that anything that might take more time to kind of mentally process or go through, we're going to set those aside so that they can go through those at their own pace later but our goal is to open up the garage today and to really have the art studio set up once and for all and to still have that area of the garage that's meant for all of your typical garage stuff. And with that said, let's do it. I just took all the cardboard to the dumpster. Oh, nice. Recycling dumpster. <laughs> okay. And a brief pause from our declutter to give a shout out and a thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Poshmark. Poshmark is a leading marketplace to buy fashion, home decor, and new beauty products. And I really like them because as you're decluttering your house this year, it's a great way to earn some extra cash just by selling items that you no longer use in your closet. It's really a great way to shop secondhand from your favorite brands. I particularly like shopping from Anina Bing, Levi's, Zara, and so many more. You can also find amazing deals and shop from thousands of brands up to 70% off retail prices. And today, as we're decluttering in the garage, I thought that we would try and find some decor items in our donation pile that we can sell on here and then we can give all the proceeds to Mama Jackson. You can also find luxury brands at affordable prices with complimentary authentication for purchases of $500 or more. And if you're looking to make some extra money on the side, they've really streamlined the whole process from selling to shipping. At first I was really intimidated to use their app, but once I took a moment to learn it, it is so easy. All you have to do is take a picture with your phone, upload it, fill in a few questions about your item, and then post it. And the shipping is equally as easy. Poshmark will update you whenever your items have sold. Then you just need to get one of those flat rate boxes or there's some other boxes you can use. I prefer to use the flat rate ones from the post office because they're free. You package it up, you print off the shipping label from Poshmark and then you send it. And once you've sent it off, they'll automatically send an update to the buyer, letting them know that you sent it. And to search my Poshmark closet, you can search for at Tandy April or you can follow the link in the description box. You can download Poshmark in USA, Canada, Australia and India and get started shopping or selling today. And if you do shop my closet on Poshmark, I would love it if you guys tag me on Instagram so I can see that our items have a new home. But now back to the declutter. For a while there was some eBay selling going on and as you know, six months have gone by and there's been time to process, we've just decided now that we no longer need eBay and what's more important to her is that she has our art studio. So that's what we keep reminding her today is that at the end of all of this, even though it's going to be really tough mentally and emotionally to get rid of these things, by the end of it, she's going to have her art studio and that is 
so worth it. Okay, let's put it in the... It's so cold today. We have different thrift shops being organized. We're gonna put it up by the curb for free. I'll help you get a table. This is a crazy thing that's actually normal in rural America. If you set furniture out on the curb, it just disappears. <laughs> That's probably been one of the most helpful things we've been doing this declutter is put things on the curb. Things that will just take a while to sell a marketplace and it's just not worth our time or like take it to the donation center, put it on the curb. It's always gone very quickly. Yeah, I think waiting six months was a great idea because you're in the zone. <laughs> That's the magic key for her. Are you going to miss it? I really also like adding, do you want that more than your art studio? But not really. I think the space is telling us we can have either or. Is that what you want, garage up front? It's like a little puzzle in here because it's a small space with a lot of stuff. So um, there's a lot of stuff that we can't do because she needs to make that final decision on it. So Jackson are just trying to help feed the muscles and speed the process along and like move stuff. So. All right, so we're gonna start by kind of breaking down the eBay tables so that we, uh, and then we can start making the like garage area over here. So enjoy this time lapse. This on the corner too. Yeah. Do we want this for anything? No. No? Okay, what about the big, big one? No. Oh, let it go? Yeah. She's on a roll. Look at this little area we've cleared out. All right, it's our keep pile. We're gonna try and move this area kind of to the middle now since we've opened this up. And now we're gonna move the garage stuff to the wall, which is something that we can do while she sorts. New stringy for Izzy.
So our keep pile is still looking pretty big. <laughs> and it's eBay. It's, it's keeping eBay, but we are making some progress. Okay, now we're gonna move this section into kind of a permanent mini garage on this side of the wall, and then it'll open up this whole space for us. All right, making some progress. It's not pretty, but it's all here, and that's what's important. We've got our kind of our tool department. We're still working on makeovers and painting, so be consolidated after the makeovers and we can get rid of more paint. And then this is a test cabinet, so we're gonna work on spraying these. So this is kind of a practice cabinet that uh, we took down, we no longer need. Temporarily, just put this here, and then once we work back here, we can move this over there, but Right now we're just kind of putting keep, whether that's keeping here or eBay, we're moving it all over here. It's just quicker if we move all over here right now because uh, we don't have a lot of room to shuffle stuff around, but we will go through it later. So it seems like it's just kind of repetitive, uh, maybe you know a little bit of a time waster, but it just helps us be quicker in the moment right now, which is more important to me, so.
Oh, no. So this is sell. This is sell. That's my holiday, holiday box. box. I was looking for that. Creepy uh, troll. I'm gonna move them. We're gonna move all of the vintage fabric that she's not ready to part with yet. We're going to move them down here, continue the eBay and keep the that she's likely going to sell. We'll move all this here. That's what we're doing. Can you that one? No problem. I'll put this on the floor for now. That'll be enough. Going through that you're selling, right? So. Okay, so it's not ideal, but we're gonna put all of the photos here because that is a to-do project. And hopefully it will get done before Christmas, which all of this stuff is Christmas and holiday stuff, so we're not really blocking anything, but we're gonna stack photos here because they're gonna start scanning them soon. Those are all the photos. We have finally finished the perimeter, garage perimeter.
So this is a very, very heavy table and matching bench under here that we're going to sell. But first, this is all of the stuff from her art studio that she said this is a fun task for her to finally organize all of her art supplies over here. So we're not going to do that tonight because, you know, she wants to be in the zone whenever she does all of that. And then after all of this is out, then we'll sell this. And then this is a vintage table from her mother that she really wants to set up in the middle here for doing art. So these two will kind of switch. The rocking chair is just, it's massive for the house and we're not using it, but she's just not quite ready yet to let it go. So that's gonna stay here right now, but you can see there's lots of empty spaces and lots of empty baskets and places for her to start getting her stuff organized, empty space kind of all down here. And then there's more art supplies here that she gets to take her time organizing but we asked her she said it's fully manageable for her for the first time ever in the history of their garage as soon as she gets all of her stuff organized and we get the table sold this space will be empty <laughs> which is always a really great feeling when you have a garage and we also have easels that she'll be able to set up here and she can paint and she wants to move these outside sometimes so she can paint so it'll all look much nicer but we're going to give her time to do that on her own this is stuff that we still need for makeovers, decor, and paint, and hardware, all of this. So as we finish the makeover, this pile will be gone. This pile will be gone very soon. This is all going to stay here permanently. It's all that stuff that you need in your garage whenever you're a homeowner. And then we have kind of like their own sub household supplies here. So those will stay there and then in the corner back here tucked away is all Christmas stuff and then in front of that is the photos that hope to be digital by next Christmas and this is the stuff that will be gone but it's manageable for her to do on her own now and we were able to get rid of a bunch of a lot of very special um, vintage fabrics that she's just not ready to get rid of yet she wants to go through them and that's something that she needs to do privately. We have a smaller eBay section. Here we have other items that are currently being listed. So we're just waiting for those to sell. These are items that, that she's been hanging on to for other people. So she's going to call them before letting go of this stack here. That is our one day wrap on the garage. And most importantly, it's all just to a manageable space for them where a manageable place for them where they can go through things in their own time and still be able to use their garage in the meantime and still 
she can have her art studio now, which she's so excited to start going through it and getting all of the supplies that are still on the table organized. So now that we can move all the art out of the kitchen, we'll start back on the makeovers very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next Sunday. And don't forget to download the Poshmark app so you can start shopping my closet and some of the items that we collected today. You can find me at Tandy April, and you can also download Poshmark so you can start selling some of your own stuff and make, make some extra side hustle money. See you in the next video. Bye.